You will never know what type of cases that is going to come in. Uh, it can range from a simple cough to a major road traffic accident. One moment it can be very calm, the next moment you will see ambulances start uh, to convey patients into the A&E to seek treatment. From then, you can see nurses walking fast to carry out orders uh, given by the doctors and you may even see at some time patients being rushed into the resuscitation room after a sudden cardiac arrest. I enjoy working inside the operating theater because the fast-paced environment excites me. Exciting because of different cases I encounter, different scenarios. I make sure that the surgical team gets full support for a smooth surgery for our patient. I get to assist the surgeon for all kinds of surgery and ensure all the instruments are available and sterile. In the ICU, it's a very stressful but exciting environment to work in because the patient can collapse on you like any time. So when that happens, we must do some immediate intervention which is to jump on the patient and start CPR. And sometimes when you receive patients, especially trauma patients, they come in with a lot of wounds. We would think that the patient might not survive. But the greater satisfaction being an ICU nurse is seeing the patient, you know, being transferred to the ward in a very good state. And then when you review the patient in a general ward, you actually see them walking around. Our role in the ward is mainly as a holistic nurse. So we look after the patient from attending to their basic needs to making sure that they get their medications, that they are fed and we are also their advocate for them when the doctors make the rounds. So we give them their, our input of how the patient has been uh, like overnight, um, if the patient is experiencing any discomfort or pain or any concerns that the patient has, has um, we'll actually bring it up to the doctors as well. Although it's a busy clinic every day, I have the opportunity to focus on one patient at a time. Each procedure will take about 30 minutes to one hour. And during this time, I have a chance to talk to my patient to listen to their story. When the patient comes back for their review appointment, well, once their cast has been removed, I see the happiness in their face. It is a satisfying feeling for me knowing that I have helped in their recovery. So I first started doing research during my honours year program in a nursing degree course and since graduation I've continued to do research alongside clinical practice. It is very important to base on nursing practice on proven scientific evidence. So we start out doing research because there is a clinical problem. We gradually arrive at our answers and that is very exciting. We share our findings at local and international conferences as well as um, publish them in scientific journals. Clinical care is constantly changing. To be a successful nurse, they need to constantly improve their knowledge and skills. As a nurse educator, it's my job to nurture the nurses and further unleash their potential. It's very satisfying to see new nurses grow and become specialists in their field. When people think of nursing, they don't naturally think about nursing administration. But in order to do nursing administration, we need a strong clinical background from working in the wards or clinic or even the operating theatre. This helps when we need to think big picture in strategizing and planning services for our patients. They get to work with a large group of people from diverse backgrounds and experiences. I'm able to listen to them, talk to them and understand their career aspirations. From there, we can plan training and job rotations to help them reach their career goals. As a community nurse, we go to patients' homes to manage their health condition. We are not only concerned about their physical health, but also mental and social well-being. We work closely with other healthcare professionals and community partners to have a proper care plan for the patient. It's very satisfying seeing patients coping at home to avoid hospital admission. We build rapport with the patient and we become trusted friends when they need help. <music>